Heat energy is everywhere, constantly moving from one place to another. When heat moves through a solid, it's called conduction. In liquids and gases, heat transfer occurs through convection, while in empty spaces such as a vacuum, it happens through radiation. But how do these processes really work? Let's explore how thermal transfer happens. In solids, heat is transferred through the vibration of particles. Since solids are made up of tightly packed particles, when one end is heated, the particles in that area start vibrating faster. These vibrating particles collide with their neighbors, passing the energy along. Like a chain reaction, the heat spreads through the solid, similar to how falling dominoes knock down the next one. This is why a metal spoon left in a pot of boiling water becomes hot. The heat travels through the spoon from the water to your hand. But did you know that some materials conduct heat better than others? Now let's see what happens when we place a wooden spoon in the hot water. The spoon stays cool and doesn't feel hot to the touch. This is because wood has low thermal conductivity, meaning it doesn't transfer heat well. Thermal conductivity measures how easily a material conducts heat. Metals, for instance, have high thermal conductivity, which is why they heat up quickly. Wood, however, conducts heat much more slowly, which is why wooden handles on cooking utensils stay cool compared to metal ones. Now let's move on to convection, the transfer of heat through liquids and gases. This is how heat spreads in water or air. When a fluid is heated, its particles move faster and spread out, making it less dense. The warmer, lighter fluid rises, and as it moves upward, it cools down, becoming denser and sinking again. This ongoing loop of rising and sinking particles creates what's known as a convection current, a continuous cycle that transfers heat throughout the fluid. Convection happens on a larger scale too, like in the atmosphere where warm air rises and cool air sinks, creating winds and weather patterns. Now let's look at radiation. Heat transfer through radiation doesn't rely on particles like conduction or convection. Instead, it travels through electromagnetic waves. These waves can move through empty space, which is how heat from the sun reaches Earth. Electromagnetic waves carry energy, including heat, across vast distances. These waves come in different frequencies. The most important for heat transfer is infrared radiation. All objects constantly absorb and emit radiation. The hotter the object is, the more radiation it emits. This is why you feel warmth when you hold your hand over a fire. It's the infrared waves transferring heat directly to your skin. So that concludes the science of thermal transfer. To recap, heat can be transferred through solids by conduction, through liquids and gases by convection, and across empty spaces by radiation. Understanding how heat moves helps us in everyday life, from cooking our food to predicting the weather.